everyone, this is a bit of a different video. I wanted to share with you guys a mini haul from some purchases I did at What's Up Nails. First up, I'm showing you guys how everything comes packaged. So they have this paper on top of it and then everything comes in bubble wrap. Uh, I bought some stamping plates, some nail polishes, some nail pens and some nail vinyls as well. The only thing that doesn't come in the bubble wrap are the nail vinyls. They usually come along with the receipt. Starting off with the nail pens, I got a cuticle oil and a cuticle remover from them. They come in this beautiful packaging. It's like sparkly and pink. I just I love it. It looks so cute. This is my first time trying these products from them, but I heard great reviews from both. Starting off with the cuticle oil, it comes in this chunky pen. So gorgeous, much better than my plastic ones. And it has some chunky bristles as well. I just love it. It works the same, you just twist the bottom. I'm not doing that here because I don't want to waste the product. I'm not going to use it yet. And it matches my nails at the moment. Uh, the only thing I struggle with these packagings is I'm afraid to rip them open when I'm trying to open. So I'm trying to be careful here. Uh, here, if you want to see the ingredients, there's a list and you can tell the packaging's apart. The cuticle remover is a bit more on the orange side and the other one is a bit more on the purple side. So I don't think you will run the risk of that in getting them confused if you have both. And also they have an uh, identification on the back and on the bottom saying cuticle remover or cuticle oil. I paid about $2 each on their semi-annual sale that they are running until July 2nd. And if you're thinking of grabbing something, they just released an extra 20% off code is 20 extra, so 20 extra, if you wanna grab something on their sale. The stamping plates, I got three of them. This uber chic one was not on sale, but I had to get it. It's this cute little like baby animals. And I really liked the uber chic plates I used in the past. They pick up really nice, even the finer lines. And the design is just too cute. I had to make use of the shipping costs and get, grab that one as well. The two ones from What's Up Nails that I got, those were on sale. I paid $3 on one and $2.30 on the other. So first up is the one I paid $2.30 is this Spaced Team one. It's called Spaced Out. Sorry, totally spaced out. It has like some planets, stars, some aliens, and a world map. I really like the What's Up Nails stamping plates as well. The ones I've used picked up nicely, even the finer lines. So I was excited to grab some more on their semi-annual sale. And the second one is this one with some flowers and some patterns in the bottom. Really cute as well. Next up, I got some nail vinyls that I need to use because I got so many and I never reach for them. I just grab the stamping plates all the time. So they come all together in this like little case. I love that they have like a thank you Julia on it, very sweet. Every time I've ordered, they have this little note on the vinyls. They're really hard to see, I hope you guys can see it. Uh, this one is like some spinner wheels, it looks like a boomerang or something. This one is some vines, designs. The next one is supposed to be like a stitch to look like a knitting. These are some squiggly lines and the lines they come in this like big, uh, packaging and the other ones come in more individual designs so you can use on the nail so just so you guys can see depending on the design it comes in a different way the nail vinyl next up is this little splashes and these little like droplets or comma looking ones again i know it's kind of hard to see and just for reference i paid between 75 cents and two dollars on the nail vinyls for nail polishes I got these two from China Glaze and they package it. The China Glaze ones don't have boxes. They came in one bag and then the polishes that had boxes came in the other bag. I love their packaging. Everything comes so secure, which is really important when you're getting nail polish. I love this shade. It's kind of a green with a blue shimmer. You can't really tell from the pictures, but when I saw live swatches, you could tell and it's even more beautiful live. So. I always recommend looking for live swatches before getting something online if you don't know what it looks like because it can make a big difference. I would probably have passed on this polish if I hadn't seen the swatches. 
And this one is from the same collection, it's a pride collection they did. Uh, and it's a purple, it doesn't have any special, it is shimmery, but it doesn't have any different shimmer color to it. And I paid between two and three dollars, sorry, two seventy on each of those China glaze ones. They were all on sale. The only thing that wasn't on sale that I got was the Uber Chic stamping plate. And the next polishes here, I grabbed one from Emily the Molly, one from KB Shimmer, and two from Cirque Colors. Again, all of them wrapped in bubble wrap. I wish we could have less packaging from like an environmental perspective, but I don't see how it could be done. These are fragile items. I think What's Up Nails is doing the best they can and the most to keep everything safe. So really love the way they package everything. So showing you here the box. This is my first time trying Emily the Molly. It's made in Australia. I didn't know that. I only saw it when I saw the box. And this is kind of like a holographic polish that I saw live swatches of and it was on sale and I really liked. So I was like, gonna try the brand. I've heard good things about it. So excited to try it for the first time. Uh, this one I paid $9.10 for on the sale. And it's again a hollow with kind of a pink to it, a bit of a blue, a bit of a silver. It's just really colorful, <laughs> but it, it tends to be more on the pink, silvery, bluish side like a cooler kind of hollow. The live swatches were really good. The hollow is really not picking up well on my camera here, but it is very holographic, a scattered type of hollow, and just really excited to try it. I can't wait to see what the farm formula looks like. The bottle is really pretty, so really excited. Next up, I got this KB Shimmer one. This is a linear hollow one. It's called Daffodil with it. KB Shimmer, I've heard great things. There is a YouTuber I love that's called Kelly Marissa, and she really recommends this brand, but this is the first time I was able to grab one. This one I paid $8.40 on, and again, it's a linear hollow. It's kind of a yellowy, chartreuse color. Well, some people might not like it, but I'm really intrigued by it. It looked really pretty on the swatches I saw, and I've heard a lot of people saying how holographic it was. And indeed, like, live in person you can really see the hollow shine through even without like a very bright sunlight on it again the camera doesn't do it justice but it is very holographic the pink polish i have on my nails is one of the most holographic ones i have and this yellow one was more hollow than it than the pink one so i'm really excited to see what it looks like on the nails to see what the coverage looks like because it's a yellow and to see the formula again my first time trying KB Shimmer and I've heard good things, so I'm excited to see if it is as good of a formula as I heard it is. And next up we have the two Surf Colors. I've mentioned Kelly Marissa is a YouTuber I like. These are polishes from her collab with Cirque. It was a collab inspired by Vegas, so you guys will see that the box outside is all like Vegas themed. I already have one polish from this collection, the one called Ethel, which is a dark green with a pink shimmer. And then I got these other two to kind of complete the ones I liked from the collection. This is a formula that Cirque calls Shimmer Graphic, which is a shimmer with holographic. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a jelly base and then it has the hollow running throughout and then it has a shimmer to it. This one may look like the color we just saw from KB Shimmer, but I swear it's not the same color. This one is much more green. It's a green with a yellow shimmer and then the holographic running throughout. Very pretty. I'm really intrigued by it. The packaging outside is Vegas themed, but you guys can see that the bottle is just a regular Cirque bottle. So no special edition there, just on the box. And it's so cute. It's very delicate, but very unique at the same time. This is what I really liked about this formula. And I've always liked the Cirque formulas I've used in the past. So again, really excited. And last but not least from that same collection is this one called Flaming Glow, which is kind of a salmon-y pink and it has a golden shimmer to it. The Cirque color ones, I paid $8.25 on the All In, which was the one we just saw, the green one. And Flaming Glow was $9.90. 
And these ones I couldn't find on the CERF website. So I think they were like limited edition. So I was really excited I was able to get them and get them on sale. And I can't wait to try it. I'm so excited. I hope you guys liked it. This was a bit of a more different video, but I wanted to share and I wanted to share while the sale is still up. So if you want to grab something, this is like obviously not sponsored or uh, it's not like an affiliate link or anything. Uh, it's not an ad. I just really like what's up now. Uh, their customer service is great. I like their sales. I like the products. And I wanted to share that with you guys so you guys can enjoy it as well. Here's everything I got, like a little summary of everything. Uh, it's a mini haul because uh, the exchange rate is not great and getting the shipment to Brazil is not cheap. But when they have a sale, I always try to make use of it and get some cool things. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm really excited. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.